I'm Shay Coletto. Welcome back to the channel. I see you tarot. So this video is going to be a little different. I had a subscriber to ask me to interpret Revelation 12 for you guys. I am going to mainly pull from tarot, but Revelation 12 is all about the woman and the dragon. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little bit from Revelation 12, just a little bit. Okay, let me see here. We have a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. First, let me say the sun can definitely be representing the divine. You know, especially if you when you look up at Egyptian time, they they didn't worship the sun, but they understood what the sun was. You know how they say in the in the church like the son of God, they're actually just talking about the sun. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of same points from the Bible in Egyptian times. So let me just let me just say that the sun can definitely be representing God, the divine. Clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. The moon could be representing intuition or the mother energy. Um, it could be representing, when it comes to the moon, our intuition is what represents the moon. When it comes to astrology, the moon energy is all about the mother energy, how we was raised by our mom. I don't think too much know where the father comes in. I know the moon energy is all about the mom energy. And the 12 stars could definitely be represented the zodiac sign. This is, this is what I'm getting when I look at Revelation 12. These are the things that come, the first things that come to head when I look at Revelation 12 because I try to look at it from different points and views. But it also says she was pregnant and cried out in pain and she was about to give birth. This is, I feel like crying out the pain, giving birth, this doesn't necessarily have to be talking about a child. It could be talking about a child, but it could also be talking about the struggles that we have as a people during this time, like crying out in pain, giving birth to giving birth to ideas, you know, giving birth to just waking up, going to work, especially if we work in a stressful place. Like, you know, just examples like that could definitely be talking about those. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Okay, so... I don't, I, I don't too much know what the seven heads and the ten horns are speaking of. The seven heads could be speaking of, when I look into numerology, seven is a very spiritual number. I believe it's the most spiritual number. So it could definitely be talking about the other side of divine. When I speak of heaven, I, I, I think, when I, when I think of heaven, I think of our mind, our mindset. Because it's very possible for us to, to create heaven on earth. Heaven on earth is not going to come from us as human beings going to some fantasy land. It, no, that's not, that's not what's going to happen. Heaven on earth is us creating what we want to create. Us birthing the things that we desire. This is, this is my interpretation. I feel like the red dragon, though, is definitely our ego. I really feel like it's our ego and how we battle back and forth with our ego and our higher self. Let me read a little bit more though. Okay, it's, it's tail swept the third of the stars out of the sky and slung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. Like the moment... It, it can, yeah, it can definitely be talking about the struggles of a child. Like the moment the child is born, they're born straight into some type of struggle. Like they get smacked on the butt as soon as they're born to make them cry, just to see if they're, you know, see if they're okay. And it depends on if you going to the hospital or having a home birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. See, this is this is, this is where. This is one of the reasons why I don't too much look to the Bible for everything because in my opinion, there were woman rulers before male rulers. 
I do believe there's a term. I forgot what the name of the term was, but there's a term for women who can give birth without a male's presence. I believe there, there existed women on this planet before men. I really do that. I, I do believe that. So I don't really too much know what they're talking about, but we're going to get into the tarot and see what the divine interpretation is for us, okay? Should I read a little more? I may want to read a little more. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for a thousand two hundred and sixty days. We have Michael, you know, battling the dragon. Okay, let me let me get into this a little. Let's see. You know, the first part of the bottom of the deck, we have the Tempest card, which a lot of people interpret as Archangel Michael. Let's see here. What is the relationship for Sister Bell Divine? I really believe the overall message is speaking of the struggles that we have here on the planet at this time. Which is it's a struggle, but at the same time, if you just look at things from a different perspective, it's not too much of a struggle. We just tend to, you know, be led by our ego a lot of times. Let's see here. What's the revelation to us speaking of? We're not going to ask what the stars and the dragon mean specifically. Yeah, we got the nine of wands here. This is being on defense mode. This is building something here and fighting for what you have built. And nine. Nine represents the number of completion. Clarify the nine of wands. With the eight of pentacles at the bottom of my deck and I'm about to spit it on the world. I just like working hard for something. Working hard for what you built. And defending it. What's this nine of wands? I feel like everybody in the world are like, most people, not everybody, but most people in the world are just like always on the fence mode here. Always on the fence mode here. Talk about this nine of wands. You said there's always somebody here that's trying to tear down something that you're building. I just came out in reverse. We got the eight of wands. It is in reverse. This is like not getting your wishes fulfilled, not having satisfaction, always wanting more. This is definitely giving me the ego. It's definitely giving me the ego. Always wanting more, not not really fighting for more. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? Got the magician. See, this is giving me that my energy. It's giving me the moon energy in Revelation 12. Like we're given all the things that we need to prosper in life. But for some reason we always want more. Okay, so what does the sun represent in, in Revelation 12? Let me ask that. I'm going to to ask that. What does the sun represent? Now we got the page of pentacles in reverse though. What does page of pentacles in reverse? We got the five of pentacles. So definitely has something to do with Earth energy, grounding, building, prosperity. And it does look like a sun. The pentacles, they definitely do look like a sun. This is just talk, this is talking about losing something here. Losing something that you're working on. Losing, losing out on your abundance and prosperity. Being left out in the cold. Not being able to manifest. I don't know. I'm 
getting a whole different interpretation with the tarot card. What does the moon represent? Revelation 12, 12, again, 
Well, zodiac sign. Which is just another word for constellation. You know, they are const the zodiac signs are, are constellations. But we're talking about twelve here, and it's twelve ten on my clock, ironically. Let me see here. Rose, what is this Revelation 12 speaking of? Well, they came out fast. We got star seed. What lights you up? And look at the woman. Well, look like a little girl. And we have transformation at the bottom of the deck. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So there's a lot of healing going on for A lot of deep healing. Crap by the star seed. Again, star. We're all from the stars. All of us come from the stars, especially um series A and series B. Some of us come from different star planets. Crap by the star seed. Well ultimately we all come from somewhere. You got the eight of pentacles. What lights you up? What do you need? What 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 could you work on? What what makes you happy? I feel like this is all talking about our need to be creative, our need to create, create heaven on earth for us. Clarify this empress. I'm getting the world card. We got the hermit in reverse, like coming out of hermit mode. And creating the things that we desire with the seven of cups. Let me read a little bit more from here. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough. Like, yeah, Michael is re Michael represents that the, the good angel on your shoulder. And this dragon represents... The devil on your shoulder, your ego, fighting fighting each other. Somebody with one of them in one ear and the other one in the other ear. But he was not strong enough and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down. The ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. He will turn to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. The devil represents our ego, and not only that, but it also represents the lowest chakra, the root chakra. Which is also the color red, just like the double is a serpent, the color, the color red. So coming, you get pushed down to earth. We are earth. We are earth. Women and men, we are representation of earth. So when they're talking about the double being cast down to earth, it's, it's basically talking about our ego being cast down to our animalistic mindset. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman who was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness, where she would be taken care of for a time. Time's and a half, half time of the serpent's reach. And from his mouth, the serpent strewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away from the torrent. See, that's not, see, see, to me, the serpent is not something that's evil. It's not. Like, when it's up to the whole Adam and Eve story, I don't believe in the whole Adam and Eve story. Like, she she convinced Adam to, oh, whoever about the spot, 
with biting the apple. She convinced Eve to bite the apple. Biting the apple was just a, the serpent was representative of the Lilith energy who did not want to conform to Adam's every beck and need. So she whispered into Eve's ear to bite the apple. The apple represents the tree of knowledge. In which when you get a little deeper into spirituality, the apple is really a mushroom. When you ta for, the, for you to tap into your higher consciousness and see outside of this realm to see what, what life actually means. That's why a lot of people get high on mushrooms. I haven't tried mushrooms yet, but I would love to try some mushrooms for one day, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, like, it's, it's kind of difficult to interpret this for the viewer that wanted the video because not every meaning in the Bible is exactly what you think it is. It's not. You have to dig real deep on behind what they're actually trying to tell you. Let me read a little bit more. It's almost done. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had threw out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged, enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of, the, of her offspring. Those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. So, so basically, it sounds like Mary, to be honest. Or, uh, what was her name? Seth. In Egyptology. Isis. Sounds like Isis, really. Like I said, a lot of the things in the Bible are straight from Egyptology. It sounds like Isis. And um, speaking of the Empress here. How a lot of a, a lot of her kids had to go into hiding because they were being attacked by the ego, which is representative of ourselves and other people who still live in their ego and will always want to find a way to attack us, take our manifestations away from us by doing magic. What is this? Give me. What does dragon represent? What does the dragon represent? Oh, we got temperance. Clarify this temperance and look at the wings. Clarify temperance. I really believe this is talking about the angels. Yeah, they go to wings again. Two of cups. The dragon against Archangel Michael. So what is this birth talking about? What does this birth speak of? Who is this son? We got the world here. Clarify the world. Look at the emperor at the bottom of the deck. With the king of wands. What's the emperor at the bottom of the deck? So look at the sun. I just put the deck on the sun. With the lovers. I'm talking about what does the um the sun represent? The sun that was born here, which is actually just the sun itself. Here's another sun, divine one, chosen one. This is all about love, love and ego. God is of love, not pain. I'm not gonna say you love don't take you through pain though. You know, love is so, it's painful sometimes. It really is. Especially because of how we're living now. But regardless of the fact, you still have to find a way to live in your authentic truth and be happy with what you have, be happy with what you are, and know that you have all the tools that you need to manifest more. And if you feel like you don't, or that's something that you're missing in your life. It's something that you haven't really learned. But this is about this is about love coming back to the world, coming back to the planet. Through a woman. A woman is what birth. Look at all the stars and you know, what does lovers 
food delivered. They go to Emperor again. You got the three of cups in reverse. And he fell right on top of the ace of wands in reverse. There's always going to be a, a, a... And then go to the sun right here with the Emperor. Queen of wands again. I don't know. Maybe this could be talking about a male child. Or just talking about the fact that men always wanted to rule. Why is the three of cups in reverse? Wow, we got the tree in reverse. Why is somebody in reverse? Women, also, this is women losing their power. The high priestesses. I've been seeing the high priest. The high priestess. Again, intuition. How we were, how the high priestesses wear the crown of the moon. They know a lot here. I'm not saying that you have men that are high priests as well. That there were always more high priestesses. A lot of things always came through women. This is speaking of a multitude of things here. So overall, it's talking about all of us. It's talking about all of us overall. Give me some more here for Revelation 12. What else do we need to know when it comes to Revelation 12? We got the six of wands here. What's the six of wands? And then we got the king of wands. What's the king of wands? Looks like the sun. We got the ten of wands. See, these words have always been hard with men being in leadership. And now it's about to change. Women are about to come back into leadership. And who is who they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be in leadership, to be honest. But there was a reason why men came to leadership, though. Men, all, men always seek control. They're the ones that battle with their ego the most. Men battle with their ego the most. Give me one more for this devil energy. I thought just talking about us overcoming our struggles here. We got the chariot, the light, and the darkness. What was I just saying about the ego? Having, having the devil on one side and the angel on the other side. But well, we need balance between our lightness and our darkness because our ego, this is not saying get rid of your ego because because of the fact that you have so many people in this world that's stuck in their ego, you're going to need your ego like in order to like like stand up for yourself. Not saying you have to get in your shoes, get in the same energy that everybody else is in, but sometimes it causes for you to stand up for yourself. And that's where your ego also comes into play. So you can stand up for what you believe in, stand up for your rights here. Let's get the feel. My car is filled past like karma. I don't know what that's about. I'm going to get ready to close this out. Yeah, this one always been a need for us to go to war with that dragon in Revelation 12, whether we're a man or a woman giving birth to a, whether we're a woman giving birth to a child or a woman giving birth to an idea or a man giving birth to an idea. There's always going to be a need for us to stand up for ourselves and our willpower. This talks about willpower. Not letting our ego get the best of us, but utilizing our ego to help us prosper around people who stand in their ego in the worst way. This is about ego and love. Ego and love. Give me one more to close this out. Wow, we got the judgment and it came out in reverse. This is this is us passing judgment on ourselves here. Clarify this judgment in reverse. We could also be talking about a man. We got the king of swords. This is 
sponsored by us, that in the Nog Shoes, that in the Nog Shoe Leadership Edition. And if we don't judge ourselves, we won't judge others. Yeah, a lot of people tend to judge themselves instead of instead of setting it because they don't set in their truth. They judge themselves because they conform themselves. And that's what makes for people to get straight to their ego because they keep conforming themselves. They're not living for who they truly are. And then that makes them go after people who are living for who they truly are because they're jealous of these people. This is why it's so important for us to be ourselves and stop trying to conform to everybody else's needs, living for everybody else's self for our own selves. I kind of want to pull like three cards for my personal deck. Let me get three cards for my personal deck design about Revelation 12. I hope it's the right deck. Yeah. Let me get three cards. <laughs> Hiding how they really feel about you. Let me get two more. Yeah, this is basically ego versus love and people that are still in their ego. I feel, I feel like people represent that dragon as well. There's many different type of things they can represent that dragon. Many type of things they can represent the woman. The woman could be a, a, a man or a woman, to be honest. And we did, we did, a man doesn't have to be giving birth to a child because, of course, they can't give birth to a child unless that child is an idea or a business or something. And still, their dragon will come along and try to destroy it. But their higher self, aka Archangel Michael, because they fought in heaven, so the devil on one shoulder and, the, and Michael on the other shoulder, they're fighting in your head. Both of them are whispering in your ear. Heaven is your head, your mind. Your crown chakra. And who will win? Your ego or your higher self? That was the first to work with you, not against you. Ego too big held themselves back. Speaking of ego. I'm telling you that like that's representing people. That's talking about people. That's talking about us. They're not even talking about a specific person. They're talking about us. You said go outside and talk with God, aka your higher self. Give me one more thing. Who else is here to go talk to Revelation 12? does have a, um, a very deep intuition. And like I say, more women are about to come back into their rightful position as high priestess. Clarify about this high priestess. Yep, with the higher thing. More women are about to come back into that leadership position as high priestess. It was a man's turn before, but now it's time for women to get back to leadership. Clarify hiding how they really feel about you. With the Ten of Swords. I just showed y'all the Ten of Swords twice. With this Ten of Swords. This is overcoming our struggles, overcoming our childhood trauma, overcoming things that happen to us and not letting it control us and get to the next step of our life. We got the Seven of Cups. This is like doing some deep healing here. So it's like how we feel about ourselves and how other people feel about us. Clarify they were supposed to work with you, not against you. 
you got the sun. We supposed we supposed to be working with the sun, not against the sun. Care about the sun. Now this gets so much deeper though. We got the wheel of fortune. It's like talking about fortune telling or birth chart. What we're meant to do here. How our birth chart is set up the minute that we're born. You know, this is also, this also gets like it also gets a little deeper. You know, I don't know. I don't, don't want to get too much into that into that analogy. But this is what I have for that for the good that wanted this video. Thank you so much for asking about it. I hope this you know that gave you a little more clarification on what it's talking about. This is just from my perspective. I don't really too much know about everybody else's perspective, but you are welcome to do more research about it for yourself, and I just hope that you got something from it. So thank you so much for coming to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. I shake.